how many bills do I have here? I gotta pay off this debt, and I gotta pay off this debt, and I gotta pay off this debt. Well, in what order do I pay off this debt? Well, this has a high interest rate higher than these two, so I should probably pay off that, but these are lower amount than these. Huh, I feel like I will never pay off this high interest one with a $20,000 balance, but these two that has almost the same interest rate, maybe a few points below, but they're less. That's 20,000, this is 5,000, this is 3,000. Huh. Hey Ross, well my money makes money. What order should you pay off your debts? Your credit card debt, your car debt, or whatever debt that you may have, maybe a personal loan. And you're trying to figure out, you should tackle the biggest one first. Mathematically speaking, that is sound. Good choice. But let's tweak it, let's twist it, let's flip it a little bit. Let's pay off the $3,000 one, right? Let's pay off the $3,000 one. Why are you saying that? I am saying that because psychologically speaking, your brain is connected to your money, right? Because of this. Your brain is telling yourself, your mind is telling yourself, it's saying, uh, there's no way we're going to pay off $20,000 because you're trying to figure out how to pay off that $20,000 as quickly as possible. And that makes sense because you went to school. You understand math. $20,000, 25% interest rate. Holy shit. Okay. Holy shit. $3,000. How much can I pay a month to pay that off? I can, I can allot $500. Okay, okay. So if every month you can do $500 to pay off your $3,000 now given, it's going to be a little more because of the interest, okay? But the more you pay off, the less the interest is going to hurt you, okay? The less, so every two months you're paying a thousand, right? So six months, six months will pay off that $3,000. Now, it might have to kind of go to three and a half because interest will still be building up as you're paying off, right? Interest doesn't stop unless you got lucky and got a zero interest loan. Doubt it. But pay off that because you know what? The reward factor in your brain, it's kind of like when I got my degrees, right? I got my associate's degree. I wanted more. It, it, it made me feel like that was one step. Let me take another step up. Went to my bachelor's. That was one step. Let me take another step up. And I got my master's. Now I'm even thinking about my PhD. I just don't feel like fucking writing. I wish I could just do this and talk to people and they give me my PhD. Honorary. <laughs> but when you look at these loans and you say, okay, it's mathematically sound to pay off that one. I want you to tweak and flip it so you get the reward factor in your brain housing group, military term, to pay off that and then move on to the $5,000. Guess what you just did? You just had you just helped your net worth of $3,000 because that money you've been paying on that little by little paying the minimum payment, you now just paid off that $3,000. Now you have no more interest to pay. That's one less loan you have to pay. Now you're moving on to the $5,000 one. Now you're still paying only high interest one. You're paying maybe $5 to $10 over the minimum payment, and that's fine. Even though that's still billing interest, but the point is this, you know, you had came to some loans, some of you, and you was like, I ain't paying none of these damn loans because you felt like it was too much. But I promise you, I promise you, and one of you gonna try and you're gonna comment me, I promise you, pay off the small one first. Pay off the small one first and tell me how you feel. You're no longer going to have to pay off that. So all those ones you're trying to evenly distribute, don't do it. Pay $5 to $10 over the minimum and extremely attack that small one. Pay that off. Guess what? That one is off. You no longer are paying interest on it and it's no longer building interest or accumulating interest. So that is all done. You move on to the next one. You are knocking off your debt. You're knocking off your interest. Now, you can now aggressively attack the big kahuna, the big mama. You can now kill that one and nip it in the bud. Trap, 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 trap. Get rid of that. Buy back the block. 
This is the point I'm trying to make. Psychologically speaking, your brain needs reward. Your brain releases dopamine when things happen in your life or create that adrenaline. All these things happen, all these secretions of euphoria happen in your body. When I got my associate's degree, my adrenaline, my dopamine was that quick because I was like, man, I did it. I want more. And that's how you're going to feel. But when you become debt free, and I'm going to be real with you, you know me, I'm not debt free yet. I, I ain't going to bullshit you. I'm not debt free yet, but I am striving. I am working, okay? I am working to be debt free. And that is the key. And this is the worst thing you can do in your road to becoming debt free, accumulating more debt. This is Ross World where I shake my head when I look at debt because we all need to be out of it because the only people who are getting rich are the rich. The only people who are getting poor are the dummies. So don't be a dummy like me. Pay off your loans. I'm out.